Hello there, I'm Chef Johnny. This is Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine and I appreciate you stopping by. Today, I'm excited to share something with you. I'm gonna tell you the secret of how I lost 100 pounds in six months. You heard it right, how I lost 100 pounds in six months. One of the things I did was I went on a low carb intermittent fasting diet. That helped a lot, but that's not the only thing. So stick around and I'm gonna tell you how I lost 100 pounds in six months. Hey, well, here you go. This is where I was, folks. You can see it, 4XL shirt. There's enough room for my wife to get in here with me now, probably. This was my belt, all right? My belt's not holding anything up, and them pants, if I move too much, they ain't gonna be up. So I'm gonna be careful for y'all, but when it touches the ground, it's at my chin. Okay, I'm 5'11". Got my boots on, I'm 6'1", right? Six feet and a half anyways. That's how big that belt is. It, won't, it wouldn't be, if I put it on, Last notch, it wouldn't hold anything up, but here you go. That's what these pants look like. I was fixing to bump into 54s. These are 52s. I'm in a 46, so I'm down three, really four pant sizes. And I'm from a, a 4X to a 2X, and I, I've got to go shopping for 1Xs. I'm, the 2Xs are getting big on me. Y'all can see it. I'll be back into here in a second. I'm going to switch back into what I had on. But, folks, do something for yourself. Do it for yourself. If you don't do it for yourself, do it for the people you love, but it, it's worth it. You're going to be proud of yourself. You're going to be excited. You're going to get motivated and feel like doing things again and feel like living again. So take it from me. Get out of these great big pants and these big shirts. Get into something that you want to wear. I was, I was wearing one of my, my shirts to school uh, back before Christmas, and one of the teachers goes, Chef, don't wear that shirt anymore. And I said, how come? She goes, it looks like you're wearing a moo-moo. <laughs> so anyways, that's... We went and dug through the closet and found some, some older shirts I had, but um, you can see me in that, in that uh, 2X, and, I, and I'll talk about it in a little bit, kind of about what I'm wearing now and, and the, the future plans and where I'm going. So uh, let's get out of these, put on some that I can, I can keep up without holding on to, and, um, and uh, I can talk to you about the diet then, but it's, it's, it's a good one, and it will take the weight off of you. Uh, folks, I'm going to tell you how I lost 100 pounds in six months. And, and it was a uh, low carb intermittent fasting diet, uh, along with some other things. I'm gonna clue you in on all those things here in just a second. So as you can see in those shots, I was a big old boy, <laughs> a lot smaller now. I'm in a 2XL shirt. This shirt is probably 12 years old. I don't know, <laughs> I had it a while. Double cut uh, snaps, you probably haven't seen those in a while. They're retro, I'm back in style again. But the wife had saved some. Um, I was in a 52 pant, probably fixed to move into a 54, and these are 46s. Won't be in them much longer. I'm going to be in a, uh, a 44 pretty quick. But, uh, you know, 260 pounds down from 360, and I was a little bigger that early in the summer. But I got on the diet uh, August 14th, so I am six months, one week, 100 pounds. And I tell you what, folks, I feel so much better. My, uh, my feet feel better. My knees feel better. And like I told you, it's intermittent fasting, it's low carb and no exercise. Now, I'm starting to do a little bit of activity. Now, I'm not gonna say I'm out there exercising every day because I mean, I'm really not. What I do is, is if y'all can see, my front gate is about 200 yards down there, down a hill. I can walk down there and walk back now. Before, I wouldn't even tried it. Now, can I make it? Yeah, but would I have been wore out? Yes, without a doubt. So. What I'm doing is, is I'm just trying to get active. Um, you, you want to stay active. You want to move around the most you can. The being sedimentary is what hurt me. It's what's going to hurt you also. But I tell you what, folks, it feels great. I did this for myself. I did this for my kids. I did this for my wife. And last summer, I got together with a bunch of college friends. And uh, first time we'd seen some of them since we were out of college, 30-something years ago. But I, I tell you what, um, we agreed to come back in better health. I think I'm gonna win the prize for the best health improvement of when we get together next summer. Uh, and I'm excited about that. You know, it's, uh, it's tough to get excited sometimes when, you, when you're that big. And, and, the, and the weight of the world coming down on you sometimes. I'm an eater, you know, and I eat. If I'm depressed, I eat. That's, that's what I do. When I'm not feeling good, I eat. I just, you know, that, that's my happy place. That's why I'm a chef. You know, heck, it, and don't think it's, it's not hard. I know it's hard. You have no idea how hard 
you know, that how much I know it's hard. And you go, well, he did it right. To tell you how tough this dieting can be as a chef is uh, I teach culinary arts. And I took some of the young ladies in my class to a cupcake challenge in San Antonio. Uh, 57 students and uh, 21 high schools there. One of my girls, I was proud to say she got second place. But it took a lot of practice getting to where, you know, to get there. And so when she would practice making her cupcakes, I would take those cupcakes, I would break them open, I would look at them, I would smell them, I'd take a little bite to see how the texture was, to see how the taste was, and I'd walk to a trash can and spit it out. <laughs> that is no lie. I did not eat a cupcake through all the cupcakes we, we made with those three young ladies. But it hasn't just been cutting out sweets. I'm not a real big sweet eater. That's not too tough on me. I'm just a big eater. I love eating. I love pasta, and I eat pasta all the time. So I had to substitute pasta with something healthy. And the diet that I got on was one I saw, I thought I could stick with. Uh, I liked the uh, person that was presenting it. It's, I was following a man that I knew was a big guy, and he got thin. And I tell you what, there's a lot of skinny people out there that will tell you, oh, here's how you got to be to be thin. Well, you know what? You ain't ever been fat, and you never had a problem. I don't need to hear from you. I want to listen to that big guy that is no longer a big guy that got small. How did he do it? And, uh, and that's what I did. And it had to do with the intermittent fasting, eating from noon to 8 o'clock, cutting out those fast carbs. No rice, no corn, no potatoes, no bread. That stuff's gone. I'm not having no dried beans. Um, but I tell you what, folks, it makes me feel so much better about myself. The more I lose, the more I, wanted, uh, the more I want to lose. And, and the more I know that I can lose. I mean, it, it's something that's obtainable. A lot of diets I was on, you kind of give up because you're not moving. This one, I'm... I've been moving. I've lost about four pounds a week, if you figure it out, right around there. And so you're seeing results. Now, did I stall some? Yes, I stalled some. And uh, I did some things to do that. Here's one of the little secrets I started doing is, is in the mornings, I get a, a glass of nice ice water and a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. I take that. Does it help me or not? I don't know, but you know what? It makes me feel better. It makes me think it's working. I do that. And I've started getting active. I will walk down to that gate and back. I do some exercises in my room. Just I do air squats. I just squat down where my legs are parallel and get up. At first, I used a chair and I would stand up. But I do that a little bit now. Uh, the diet I'm on is from a guy called Roger Ragland. Roger was a big guy. Roger was almost 290 pounds. He got down to 205 in, in short of five months. I mean, so I looked at a guy that was just a little bit older than me that had been big, that got thin, and I said, you know what? He's in the same boat I'm in. Maybe I can do that also. And I jumped onto his website. I joined it. It's 10 bucks a month to be on there. That's what it is. But you know what? On the forum, you get all of his videos. You get everything. And this isn't an infomercial for him at all. This is something for you to say, hey, here's some people that are willing to help me. And it's something I can do. You know, Danny, man. Danny was on there. and He was encouraging all the time. Chris Bear, she's on there. Older lady. And she, you know, and she's like, hey, us older girls can lose weight too. And she's encouraging people. She's encouraging herself by encouraging other people. And she's helped push me through. Roger is on there. Roger has, uh, you know, we've done some, uh, some phone calls with him where, where he'll do a, uh, a live and people can, can jump on the phone and listen. They can get on the internet with him and ask him questions. And, and we've done that with him. He's been so helpful, so motiva motivational. But his videos are there. And you can listen to all those. He's got a shopping list and everything like that that you need. And uh, it's nice to have those people behind you. My wife and my son are, are way behind me. At first, my wife would go, oh, well, just not say, no, no, honey, I can't do that. I cannot do it. And so now she's figured that out. And she's figured out that I'm going to stick with it. I tell you what, here a while back, she told me, hey, if you'll lose uh, 100 pounds, or actually more than that, she goes, if you'll get to 250, she goes, I'll send you on an elk hunt. And I was like, Really, I've wanted to go on an elk hunt my entire life. And uh, I was like, wow, that is, that is too cool. So along with the other reasons, I was losing that. And I was looking up elk hunts and looking at different types of things that I could do and where I could go and, and what. Now, man, I can get around more. I can get up and walk around. It doesn't have to be one of those where they drive you up and let you look at one standing there. I mean, I get where I can, I'm going to be able to walk around and go look for one. And like we said, they're very expensive. We looked at them. And, and since I'm an educator, since I teach culinary arts, I don't know if I can get off for 10 days in the middle of a season. And I don't know if we can ever afford it. But you know what? It's nice to have something to look forward to. So uh, I've, got, I've got a vest hanging inside that's a wall maker. 
that when I got it, maybe thought it would fit me and it was too small. And it's and I'm gonna wear that wall maker. I'm not through losing weight yet. Yeah, I'm down 100, but I'm gonna lose another 40 to 50 pounds. So folks, it's something that you can do. It's something you need to do for yourself. And it's something that I, that I did. So I've gotten active. Now, Roger, he says don't exercise. Uh, you know, the type of weight loss for exercise and with exercise is not or different. And I don't understand all the details, but I can tell you this, Roger lives an active life. He's a hunter. He's walking the deer blinds. He's coming up here and climbing up in them. He's carrying corn. He's dragging deer. There's a lot he's doing. He lives an active life. He's not sedimentary. I was sedimentary. I'd get home. I'd go sit down. I'd do a cooking video. I'd go sit down between shots. You know, it's, it was a life of sitting. And now it's a life of getting up and moving and seeing I can do things again. So, you know, uh, I kind of ramble on and, and I tell you a lot about it, but, but I'm excited about what happened. And I want uh, just a few of y'all to get excited. I know there's people that have uh, got on the diet since I have, that, that watch me here. There's people here in town that see me that have got on the diet and they're doing the same thing I have. And uh, they're doing better. I'm doing better. Uh, folks, you know, inv invest in yourself. That's all I say. Invest in yourself because you're going to feel so much better. And, you know, I still got people encouraging me because, I, like I said, I still got 40, 50 pounds to go. I'm going to get down to that 220 mark, maybe a little bit below it, and settle in around 220 because I felt good at that weight. When I was coaching, I was that weight, and I was very, very active. And so I think that's a, a good spot for me to be. But uh, I hope you'll listen to this a little bit. I, I hope you will uh, check out Roger Ragland's diet again. We eat from noon to eight, no bread, no rice, no beans, no uh, uh, fats. We're doing lean meat, uh, no bread. Gosh, folks, you know, you know, if it tastes good, spit it out, right? But anyways, I've, I've got some great recipes on my channel that you can find. I've got a Roger Raglan diet playlist, and, and you can follow that and, and do some of those recipes. Now, some of those were done before I was on the diet, so the rub may have a little sugar in it. So watch your rubs. You can't just uh, use any rub. Uh, you got to make sure it has no sugar and salt, pepper, garlic goes a long ways. I love those three. But you know what, folks? It's not that tough. It's something you can do. You know, I told you about my my girls and tasting the cupcakes and spitting them out. I uh, literally did that. You know, we've made we've baked bread. You know, we've done all these different things. We, we've made some wonderful soups that I couldn't have that were carrot and potato soup, you know, and I couldn't have that. And I really like that carrot dill soup that I make. But uh you know, it's just for a short period of time. It's not forever. And people go, gosh, no, don't you need to take a break? And I said, you know what? I did what I wanted to for 57 years. It's time that I, you know, uh, put the brakes on, backed up. And uh, so what if it is for one year? I don't, I don't think it's going to be a whole year. I, I think it's going to be about nine months, maybe 10, to get w to where I want to be. But um, I feel better. I'm looking better. You know, I'm never going to be in those 4XL shirts or those 52 pants again. Uh, my belt, you saw my belt, you know, was how big around it was, you know, it was, it was a long ways around me. But uh, thanks for listening to the story I have. For the people that are on my channel regularly and have noticed, thank y'all so much for bringing it, bringing it up. Don't forget to bring it up and mention it because that really gives me motivation to keep going. And uh, that's what it's all about is people helping people. And we can all do this together. If you have questions about it, uh, you can uh, uh, send me a, an email, texastockcuisine at gmail.com. I'll tell you everything I can about it. I can get you in touch with uh, Roger, give you his website and all that. And you can look and see if you think it's something that you can do. But folks, I lost 100 pounds in six months by simply dieting. And right here at the end, I've started putting a little activity with it, which I know is going to help me tremendously. I'll tell you what, folks, you know, it's, uh, it's just exciting. You know, I haven't, I haven't ridden in 20 years probably. I hadn't been horseback in, in, in forever. Uh, John's 29. He was young last time I was on a horse. Uh, that big Appaloosa stud out there, Samson's going to get ridden here before very long. I'm starting to get where I, I feel like I can do it again. My knees are feeling better. Maybe, maybe that hold up so I can get on the back of a horse and may not do any serious riding, but at least I can get on him and ride around the pasture a little bit, enjoying myself out there. You know, uh, Time is never wasted on the back of a horse, without a doubt. And, and I like that. I enjoy it. Uh, wife and son looks like they're pulling in. And so um, I'm going to help them get the barbecue stand uh, unloaded, unpacked, and get everything ready to go. But thanks for stopping by Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. I always do appreciate it. Uh, tell your friends and family about us. Tell them about this diet. 
tell them to come over and just listen to what I have to say. You know, this is going to be, the video is not going to be that long. Listen to what I have to say and find out how to lose 100 pounds in six months. You know, you may only need to lose 50 or 60. You might be through in four or five months. You know, with me, it's going to be nine or 10. But I'm going to get there. I'm going to do it. So keep checking in with me. Keep encouraging me. And we're going to see all y'all down the road on Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Goodbye, everybody.